Imagine being an unsuspecting group of teenagers trying to survive a zombie apocalypse. While trying to stay alive, you encounter your school's bully who has a crazy heart on, but she own sin. After rushing in to quell this disgusting beast, you get bitten and thus are dead. Well, in today's video, we're going to talk about how to beat and survive Green Nam. We're going to first talk about his backstory, his powers and mutation, and how to beat and destroy Green Nam from the lens of the survivors. We will apply some core strategies and do everything we can to survive the rooftop scene during the first encounter. Before we begin, please make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you like this type of content. Let's get started. Gwen Nam, playing by Yu In So, starts out the movie as one of the bullies who caused Lee Byung Chen to create the Jonas virus. The purpose of the virus was to increase aggression in order to help his son, Lee Jin Su, overcome his fear and stand up to the bullies that were ruining his life in high school. Gwen Nam isn't the head bully in his group, and he clearly has a sense of respect for the leader of the group, Son Myon Wan. Additionally, he also fears and respects Lee Su Hyuk, who was once part of the bullying group. Grin Nam within the series is ruthless and gives off the impression that he would kill anyone if he knew he can get away with it. Within the zombie outbreak, he used others as shields in order to save himself from the zombies, even those who tried to help him. He got into a fight with Chion San after he caught him killing their principal. The fight ended with Green Nam getting bitten by the zombies, but to his surprise, he didn't become a zombie, but a half beat. Green Nam became powerful, just causing Green Nam to experience his ultimate goal as a bully, which is to empower and be important. Within this series, you get the sense that he felt powerful, thus resulting in Green Nam defeating anyone that attempted to take him down whether it was humans or zombies. He became the monster that he was inside. At the end, he chased Cheon Sen to get his revenge and it was actually pretty petty. We Nam thought he would never die and became the ruler of all. He died when Cheon Sen dragged him into the fire with him. Even though I believe we will see him in season 2 due to his regenerative powers and that's just my personal theory. Now let's take a minute to talk about We Nam and his abilities. Once bitten, the virus gave Gui Nam a heightened healing factor that makes him nearly immortal. We see evidence of his healing abilities throughout the series, as the protagonist seemed to love to throw him down flights of buildings. He was thrown down the building on three separate occasions and in each instance he got up within minutes only to continue pursuing our group. Gui Nam is able to retain his sense of self despite being viciously mauled by a pack of zombies, which makes the virus within Gui Nam even more dangerous. Having all the supposed strength of a zombie zombie while being able to overcome its glaring weakness provide Green Nams with a clear advantage. Additionally, the virus and the freedom that he has now to operate further reveals his true character and how he uses his new strength. This is in sharp contrast to the other happies who've learned to control their urge, like Cho, Nam, Ra. We also know that due to either the mutant variations or the fact that he consume human flesh, that Green Nam has increased strength and speed. We see evidence of this increased speed and strength in episode 11 and in the fight scene on the rooftop. Now that we have the background, let's talk about how we can beat Green Nam. In order to formulate a plan, let's break down the first major fight scene within the rooftop. Within this scene, we see Green Nam with a single arm throw back Nam on Joe halfway across the rooftop as he attempts to take out Chion Sen's eyes. Lee Si Huyuk engages him in combat but eventually leads him to experiencing the same fate a Nam on Joe. The group attempts to hold Gui Nam back, however their attempts to attack him with a piece of wood have failed consistently. There were multiple group attempts to subdue him, however each approach has failed. We start seeing some success with Cho Nam Ra as she stabs Gui Nam's leg and holds his hands, ultimately as a result of her being a happy as well. Lee Si Hee Yuk attempts to distract and attack Gui Nam, only leading him to almost being choked by Gui Nam. Gui Nam is eventually thrown over the ledge by Nam An Jo, thus resulting in the end of the fight. We also see Gui Nam start to recover, thus indicating that he is recovering and fit to go but crazy. Now, the directors did not show us what would happen if a zombie was stabbed in the head, which is like Zombie 101. But we know that in this series, that if you want to kill a zombie, that you must stab them in their necks. We also see the impact of the bomb drop in episode 11 and how the total burning of their bodies leads to their death. Additionally, we learn that rain has a direct impact on the zombies, thus resulting in pain and their inability to focus. Now let's apply these three factors into the scenario and see if we can beat Gui Nam. Applying this to the fight sequence, we see that the group actually had everything they needed in order to kill Gui Nam. 
In multiple instances, the team broke wooden chairs across Grin Nam's body, thus resulting in a number of broken pieces, thus leading to the fight opportunity to kill Green Nam. While holding Green Nam, the group could have held him down while two members used the broken pieces to stab Green Nam either in the head or neck. This particular scene serves as an excellent opportunity for Russ to go buck crazy on Green Nam and lay down some justice. The next opportunity to apply what we know and how to kill Green Nam would be to put him on fires. Nama and Joe grab a piece of rebar only to thrust it against Green Nam's body. By the way, you've seen that this strategy has failed on multiple occasions, so why attempt to do it again? Instead, taking the time to light Green Nam on fire rather than apply the same failed strategy would have worked. Additionally, there are multiple pieces of wood in this scene that could have been used to light and beat Green Nam while Nam Anjo was holding him down. This means that the group would need to test various strategies and find the right strategy that worked given this situation. Since they've had this opportunity, it's important that they are working together and working cooperatively. Additionally, the group recognized that the rain has a direct impact on zombies and Green Nam. Now, one of the things that I think is extremely important is that when you throw a man over a ledge, you should want to make sure that he is actually dead, especially since he's come alive at least once. Within this particular scenario, it might have been a good idea to go on the offensive while the rain was actually going so that you can proceed and do what you need to do. However, I personally believe that in season two, we're going to see that Green Nam is regenerating and he's fit to go buck crazy. So what are your thoughts and what would you do and how would you attempt to beat Green Nam? Please make sure to smash that like button and write your ideas in chat. And thanks for watching.